Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to talk about how working on someone else's code is like getting on an elevator where somebody farted. All right, so every so often we'll work on projects that we didn't start. I mean, the preference is that we start new projects from scratch, but every so often we'll get, I mean, frequently I get calls from prospects saying, you know, hey Eric, we've been working with this development team or we've been working with a software developer and he's just really, you know, we're just not getting along well or, you know, the project's in a mess. Can you come in and help out? Can you, like, you know, finish it off and everything like that? Right? And occasionally we'll, we'll take something like that on, but more often than not we don't because it's really, really difficult to do, right? And first of all, when they come in and say, you know, Eric's like 90% of the way finished, but the developers just can't seem to get it that last 10% to the finish line or whatever, you know, can you come in and do that last 10%? I always think it's like, you know, somebody like me, you know, if I brought to you a jar of pennies and I said, look, I've counted like 90% of these pennies. Can you cast, count the last 10%? Right? You'd be like, well, yeah, I don't know what's, what's done, what's not, what's tested, what's not, you know, all this kind of stuff. And a lot of times when it's these kind of situations where the client and their development company have fallen out, then there's not a lot of conversation going on there. Sometimes they don't even have access to the code, which is, you know, surprising you know when you ask about that you know well can I have a look at the code is yeah you know I have to see if I can get them to give that to you right so it's uh, yeah it, it's really difficult but when I was a contractor I used to do like a lot of work on existing projects in fact some of the places I worked on it seemed like they gave all the new projects to like new developers or like trainee developers because you know there was something they could cut their teeth on you know just you know get to grips with everything, learn how to code a little bit. But then these projects would pick up momentum and then, you know, the more senior developers would go in there and work on them. And it, a lot of times it was, it was difficult because you, it's, I, you know, I used to always say like working on someone else's code is almost like cleaning up someone else's room, right? You don't know, you don't know what it's going to be like when you walk in there. You don't know, you know, if somebody says we need to work on this project that, you know, the developer left, right you know and we need you to go in there and work on it you don't know if he was really well structured with something which is always you know that i mean there are, are a lot of good developers out there right yeah you know, a lot of times you go in there look at some side and go okay this is not how i would have done it but i can see i can see the logic here i can see where you know this goes here this goes here and sometimes it's just it's just a mess it's like the lone wolf that sits around and codes and just you know in out whatever variables all over the place and it could be really really tough to read and really tough to you know to get um to get to grips with right and once you take over a project you take over all the bugs all the you know all the baggage that comes with it i, I like you know taking over someone else's code is like is like getting on an elevator where someone farted right so you're, you're waiting for the elevator the doors open you get on the elevator a guy walks out you get on the elevator and when the doors close you realize hey that guy farted Ooh, this was nasty right and just you know, you just sit there, you try not to breathe, take short breaths, <laughs> right? So, and then the doors open and then somebody else gets on the elevator and the first thing you say was, that wasn't me, that was the last guy, right? And when you take over someone's project, if it's like, if it's, if it's like on a shaky foundation or if it's got a lot of bugs in it or it's like really, really, you know, if it falls over all the time, there comes a point where you can no longer say, hey, it was the last guy because you know, you've been looking after it. I mean, there was one project at an investment bank that I was working on for like two years and the entire two years I'm saying, look, this was the last guy. It seemed like I was always firefighting on this thing. It should have been rewritten, but once you bring that kind of stuff up, nobody wants to do it. So you start trying to rewrite things a little bit, but you know, if things are really, if, you know, if, if things are shaky all over the place, like you, know, you, you change one thing here, other things start breaking, and you start wanting to take the least risky releases you can, right? And a lot of times that's the case, right? So, for those of you who have taken on, actually, yeah, for those of you guys who have taken on like existing projects and, you know, and have had a hard time or had an easy time or whatever, let, let us know in the comments because for me, it, it rarely works out very well. I mean, there's a lot of money to be made, but if you do take on a project that for, for an existing, um, for an existing code, like, you know, there's like that, first of all, first of all, there's nothing worse than having a developer throw a fit and leave a company and you have to go take over the project. Say, so, you know, oh, so-and-so, he's, he's leaving, he's, you know, he's all upset about something, so he's left his notice. We need you to take over the project. Can you go talk to him, right? And you gotta go and you talk to somebody who doesn't wanna tell you anything, who doesn't wanna help you, who sees you as a threat anyway because you're, you know, trying to make 
everything's smooth through the transition and he's just like, I'm quitting this place because this people sucks, right? It, it, I've done that. I've been in that situation. I've also been in the situation where I was the guy leaving, which you know, I'm, not, I'm pretty ashamed to, to admit, right? But for those of you guys who have had a similar situation, let me know what it's like. If you, if you work uh, for clients, you know, do you take on uh, existing code, you know, like you know, someone brings you some existing code, or do you always insist it needs to be rewritten? This is one of the things that I know a lot of developers, they just won't touch existing code at all. You know, the, the, the first thing out of their mouth is, we need to rewrite it, right? Which is, you know, fair enough. I always think that I'm more, in those kind of situations, I'm more like a field medic. Like I just see, you know, I, we could patch it up here, we could patch it up here, ooh, this is really bad, but we could like maybe encapsulate this messy code and nobody touch it, that kind of stuff. So anyway, what kind of experiences have you guys had? And uh, anyway, that's it. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.